Hello friend, welcome to Bricks Embedded System Tutorial. I am Rajiv and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to use Synaprog to burn the hex file to your microcontroller. So to start with you must download the Synaprog uh, software from your uh, web Synaprog website. Uh, next extract the zip file so that you will get a folder. Open the folder. Inside this you will file, find multiple files together with one uh, synaprog.exe just run this file. You will see a small window uh, with all the detail like a hex file, flash, eprom, device, huge and programmer. So from this window you need to select the programmer which you are using like uh, we are using uh, USB Tini so I will select USB Tini. Other two options are not valid like which port and which uh, baud rate you need to use. So just leave it default default. In case you are using any programmer which is based on <coughs> COM port, you need to select the COM port from here and the baud rate which uh, it should work on. In case of USB Tini, no need to select anything from these two windows. Next come to the device part. Uh, once uh, you have connected your device using uh, USB Tini programmer, just click on this search button. It will automatically search the microcontroller which is connected to your uh, computer. So here you can see that uh, it says that at Mega32 is connected to USB Tini programmer. Next, just open the hex file and using this flash section, program it to the microcontroller. So you must know where is your hex file just to locate the hex file you need to use this button. So click on this button like my hex file is there on uh, desktop. So I will go to desktop here you can see I have one hex file called main.hex. So just open it and click on program button. It will start writing the code and that's all. Uh, the program has been burned to your microcontroller and it's actually running on the microcontroller. Uh, there are two more buttons verify and read. So using verify button you just check that the code which is written inside your uh, microcontroller is exactly same to the code which is there uh, on this link or not. Sometimes you may want to uh, read some code from one microcontroller and uh, write to other microcontrollers. In that case just uh, uh, write here some hex file name like uh, new code dot hex and click on read button. So what it will do new code dot hex. What it will do it will read the hex file which is there inside your microcontroller and it will create a hex file on your uh, computer. So here I have given an address of desktop. So it will create a hex file on desktop. So let it read the file. Okay, so reading flash memory has been completed. So now if you will check, you will find one hex file new code dot hex on your desktop. Now if you want to write it on some other microcontroller, just uh, uh, select this file or it's actually already selected. So connect your new microcontroller and program it to uh, that new microcontroller. Together with uh, reading and writing flash memory, if you want, you can also read the EEPROM and you can also write the EEPROM to your microcontroller. Now, the most useful use of, uh, most important use of your uh, signup prog is to set the fuse bit. So, in next tutorial, we will learn how to use signup prog to set uh, the fuse bit of your microcontroller. So, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching our tutorials. Please keep watching our tutorials to learn more about embedded systems. Thank you.